Good morning and welcome to today's video. We're chilling in the car park here at the doctor's office here in New Milford. By the way, thanks Jimmy. Like everything in my windshield, my window here is blurry where he peeled off the tin. <laughs> we need to get that fixed. But hopefully in the next uh, hour and a half, they said they'll have the results and paperwork all done for me. Hopefully we get good news. And hopefully tomorrow morning at five o'clock, I will be on my flight back home to Japan. I am beyond homesick. Actually, I've never felt this homesick in my life. Like, I am just beyond frustrated about the whole situation. Like, I'm so homesick that I'm not even myself. Yesterday, I didn't even want to pick up a camera. I just wasn't feeling good. Like, and it, it's insane how just being a bit homesick can affect you and all that kind of stuff. So, I really hope we get the good result. And if we don't, we'll make the best of it like we always do. But uh, I really want to go home. So... <laughs> Let's go to Starbucks and kill some time and get a coffee and some breakfast and then hopefully by the time we're done there and come back We'll have the news that we want Yo, yo, all right, all right, all right. We got the Starbucks and I waited a painstaking hour and a half But this paperwork here, just make sure I'm not about to dox myself or anything like that um, Not detected, we negative, we are going home tomorrow morning at five o'clock in the morning I am so relieved like you have no idea you have no idea so um yeah pog in chat guys we're going home we're going back to japan i am i have no words i just need to get to the shop and i need to go hug somebody maybe tom wants a hug although no one really wants to get close to me because you know i'm covid super spreader um but no seriously i am i'm really really happy far out all right, let's go to the shop. Let's finish stuff up, pack some stuff into the car for storage and sell some stuff, sell some parts that we don't need. And then, um, yeah, put this thing in storage, jump in a Uber to the airport because I'm probably going to have to stay there because there's no way I'm going to catch an Uber tomorrow morning with a snowstorm coming. That's another thing I'm worried about. Hopefully no flights get canceled with the snow that's coming tomorrow. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's go to the shop. Enough talking. We're negative. We're going home. That's all I care about. Where is this guy? Here he is. Oh, it's Grant. Hey, buddy. Last day here. How you doing? You're yeah. gonna, you gonna be sad? Uh, maybe. I'm sorry. I'll I'm see infected. you maybe like hopefully six months. Okay. That'll be a perfect amount of time six away months? from you. Okay. Yeah, that's about right. No, maybe four. Hopefully four. Four. Right, April, Dude, spring. first Matsuri. Yeah, first Matsuri. If we can, I'm you gotta run with me too. What's that movie? What's that movie with the ginger guy and like the lines on his face and he was like screaming on the horse? <laughs> You, you know what I'm talking about? No, I've never seen that. No? Do I look like him, though? Uh, no, I'm just saying when you come to Ebisu, you're going to be wanting to come oh, okay. for blood. Yeah, so yeah, what I'm, I'm saying is blood. you should just yeah, go yeah. for it. I'll put the war paint on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know no, what I it's called. You, I am. You've been here a little too long. Though. I'm sorry I infected your entire family. <laughs> you didn't infect anybody. <laughs> We're all good. <laughs> I don't know how this guy like avoided getting infected, but anyways. Um, Chris. I wouldn't jinx yourself, dude. Yeah. Like I'm not jinxing hours. myself. Yeah, you got 24 you, you hours. Like, you no, know, you were like, oh, this is my last day here. You've been on the phone for two and a half hours. Nah, I'm fine. We're good. <laughs> we'll be that out of here. True. Knock on wood. Sorry for... <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll happen. I'll make it happen. Yeah. I messaged someone that works there too, so Listen hopefully he can make it happen. Well. I was gonna yeah. say, he could, yeah, he could paddle home. I'm sure if I just rocked up at the airport, I could probably just go to the service desk and get him to do it there. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, he will be quarantining. Yeah, that'll be perfect. <laughs> He'll be quarantined on the ocean. <laughs> I'm just glad this trip, where I've potentially gotten stuck, is only like a month. You've only technically been stuck for like a week. Yeah. If you think about it. Oh. Yeah, uh, no, it's been two weeks. It's been two weeks. 15 days ago. No, I thought yeah. you were supposed to leave the 28th. Yeah. It's only the... So yeah, it's been only like an extra uh, week. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're good then. Yeah, Feels like it's been two weeks. Stuck in America for six months. <laughs> that was last time. That was legit. That was, that was bad. bad. That was insane. That was, that, was bad. that was... It was four months, but yeah, it was bad. It felt like six months. It felt like a year. Yeah, it was wild. <laughs> mm -hmm. and everything was like closing early and stuff. Yeah, it was that is super yeah. weird. Dude, Florida, that was such a weird time. Well, at least Florida is probably the best place to get stuck during these times. True, I feel like they were less strict. No one really cares. No one really Except cares. that ice cream place. Do you remember that ice cream place we went into and they kicked us out? No, I actually You don't, don't remember that? Uh, one night, me and Rudnick were craving ice cream. Yeah. And we, we at that point, like, we still didn't have masks, right? Like, you couldn't buy them anywhere. Find them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So we walked into this ice cream place and they legit would not serve us, told us to get out and everything. And Chris was so mad. <laughs> it was a good time. Uh, well, anyways, a safe trip, man. I will, dude. Nice Next time you. on your door. See you in a couple months. Yeah. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Fingers I mean, Japan's crossed. already talking about opening the borders for tourism again because Omicron's like the, you know, the safer variant and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, so. everyone, everyone seems to be fine. Not cross fingers Touch crossed. Touch wood. Yeah. Nice that. Knock. Yeah, that is a really nice door knock. All right, anyways, this clip's going on too long, but Rudnick. That's a Rudnick clip. Rudnick, I'm sorry, I'm leaving. Goodbye. I know you're happy about me leaving, so. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in there just, just for the effect. Chris, Chris wasn't joking. We're nearly at the three hour mark now on hold with JAL, Japan I'm Airlines. Talking to someone now. Yep, that's true. You're finally there. Finally got to talk to someone. She's uh, trying to change my flight so I can get on the plane Dude, in the morning. Imagine if I just. No. Stomped on it. No, you were not allowed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the new laptop. There's a new razor that we got. Um, this is weird. Like I went from an automotive channel. Now I'm doing IT stuff. Well, call me, call me Semit Tips. Um, <laughs> you came from an IT background. That's true. I did. That's your jam. You that make, is. Like, servers and stuff. Yeah, man. I, I still got one at home running that's in the wild. in the cupboard. You still so. got that Minecraft server running? Uh, I just took it down actually. You no, it was just no, no one used it as much anymore. Yeah. Yeah, but anyways, um, we're going from 16 gig of RAM to 64 gig of RAM. We got the 3200 um, megahertz stuff there, so that should be nice. G skill, rip jaws. You're a bot hurt. Got a two terabyte NVMe. That's cool. This to is, go in this to the data drive. Sure. Dude, but how nice does new blade look? This whole vapor chamber now. So much better for cooling. And then uh, we got a USB-C charger because the power management on these is super cool. Not only can you use like the 200 watt power brick, but you can also use a USB-C charger. And then if it wants extra voltage and stuff for like the GPU while you're rendering, it'll just draw that from the battery. I can tell you're an IT guy. You're a nerd. Dude, I love this you're stuff. This is, this is the laptop that I've needed for so long. Yeah. What'd you say? I said you should be part of the Geek Squad. The Geek Squad? Squad? Nah, they don't pay enough for that. I love Geek Squad. They Geek got Squad a is pretty good. Oh hell yeah, we're ready. Dude, Grant, did you did you just have that in your car? <laughs> just doing a bunch of running around at the UPS store right now, shipping some stuff off, mainly that laptop that we sold. Actually, let me give this guy a shout out. David Mitchell, thank you so much for grabbing that. Appreciate that. Made my life so much easier not having to take that on the plane back with me. So uh, he snapped that thing up like literally the moment that video went up. So that makes my life so much easier. I'm going to get this stuff all shipped off. Then I'm going to probably hang out with everyone. We're going to go to a restaurant and stuff for my last night here. And then I'm going to catch an Uber from there straight to the airport and probably just stay there until uh, 5 a.m. So today is definitely going to be an interesting one. Um, and when we get back to the shop, I'll uh, do some stuff and explain what we're doing with this car and, and what's going to be happening like moving forward. I have to admit, I am going to miss driving this thing, that's for sure. It just sounds so good, it feels really responsive. I haven't really been able to obviously like step on it and enjoy it and take it to a track and drift and whatnot. But for just being able to drive this thing around as like kind of a daily, it's been really nice. We're nearly at Tommy's shop once we get there. Got some exciting stuff to tell you about this girl. Alright Thomas, I'm going to give you the keys to my uh, my little crap box. Keys to your heart. Keys to my heart. <laughs> How's your Japanese wife going to appreciate that? <laughs> She'll love it. Hey, look, do you like this? Look, look, look. Look, F yeah, F yeah spec. What's weird is AEM has It looks identical same. to yours, yeah. I bet John just makes them for them. Probably. It's cool. So this is mine now? Uh, yeah, actually for, for a little bit. Bought it off you for three grand, remember? Three grand, oh yeah, right. Three we'll have grand. to talk about that later. That is not happening. But Tommy, uh, he's letting me, one, store the car here, which is awesome. And then two, um, we're going to get him to do a little bit of work on the car. We're well, not going to go. Gonna do shit. Well, yeah, that's right. You're going to get the staff to do it, and we're obviously I'm paying the bill. But the fact that um, he can get that all organized for me while I'm away is going to be massive. Shout so, out Tommy. Shout out Tommy F. Yeah. Hell yeah. And uh, dude, you got to give this like, what is the official name of your restoration shop? Secret. You don't know yet. Until the sign. Until the sign. We know it. When okay. the sign shows up, you will all see. All right. Well, it's good to know. But anyways, it's the JDM space. You could just refer to it as the JDM space. The JDM space. I swear to God, if you actually like go with that company name, I mean, didn't you register the LLC or something? Hey! hey. hey. Uh, I remember you registering so a leaving. domain. You're leaving, right? Yeah, I'm leaving. I own the domain. If you go to it, it goes to TommyFA.com. <laughs> the JDMSpace.com. Um, but yeah, we're not going to be going anything like FES spec on the car. Like, that's not my intention. It's going to be a drift car. But um, 
he's going to help out with a bunch of stuff and maybe we'll get some zinc on there you have to have to it's a rule it's in the zinc shop so. i'll let rudnick work on it if you don't know <laughs> i'd rather pay for josh to work on it than rudnick work on it no for offense free. yeah <laughs> <laughs> Well, fuck uh, here. All right, yeah. This. Fuck, 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 any fuck. <laughs> Love you, Tommy. Thanks, Later. man. These guys, I swear, are brothers. I'm <laughs> just so disrespectful. <laughs> no, just doing that with chopsticks. <laughs> Sam's gonna make up, he's a Sam. So he's gonna make up some tradition. So this is a shirt. Ooh, I deflected that one. <laughs> no, you just went like this and I missed your finger. Yeah, deflection. He thinks deflection is doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Don't look at me. So, we're at a Japanese restaurant. I'm not sure what these guys are doing. No, 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 this isn't Japanese restaurant. Oh, fine. They have general style chicken. They have Thai stuff. Thank you so much. Yo. Are you gonna eat all of that, Chris? Eat the flour, eat the flour, camera's on, eat the flour. Eat, eat the flour, flour. camera's on, camera's on. Come on, Rodnick, no balls. No balls, no balls. Hey, the flowers are edible, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the flour is edible? Yep. Eat it. What do you think? Like, for real? She wouldn't lie to you. Yeah, why would she lie? I guess it's fine. Is it good? It tastes like a flower, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So uh, you know the flour. I'm loving this American sushi. <laughs> it's not too bad. It's pretty good. It's just funny because it comes with a flour. <laughs> Yo, everyone's eating the flour now. We got Will. We got Tommy. How's it taste? I'm the only real man that puts the whole thing in my mouth. Tastes like, like Say that again with a straight face? Yeah. I'm the only real man that eats the flour. Oh, oh, like, oh. <laughs> you said it weird. That's not how you say that. Dude, he, he's going like, oh, we're gonna, geez, we're gonna be bang pros. He, he said, well, that was the what, would he, what did he say to her about hot dogs? He said he in liked the, them. In the eating competition that he wanted to go down. Is that gonna happen, bird versus bird? I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. All right. well, Especially are, if it's a bird. Easy. Time warping ahead. We are at the airport. It's like 5.30 in the morning. Look at this weather. It looks so crazy. I've never been to an airport when it's been snowing like that. So, kind of looks cool. Anyways, we're gonna board my flight. We're going to Dallas first, and then from Dallas, we go to Tokyo, and then starts the whole quarantine process. Which is a little bit of a nightmare, but I'm gonna explain everything to you guys best I can, probably in the next video. Just so like if any of you guys are traveling to Japan, you know what to expect in this kind of, I guess, circumstances. I'm sure by the time tourism opens back up, things are gonna be very different, but at least you'll have like an idea of what you're gonna need to do, if that makes sense. Love the journey, they say. You know, I definitely had a good time over here, but I don't know if I would go and say that I loved the journey. <laughs> There's really no other way to deal with this situation except laugh because this is just absolutely hilarious and I don't know, maybe I'm just not meant to go back to Tokyo, back to Japan. Um, yeah, we boarded our flight and just had to de-board. Everyone's lined up trying to get tickets reissued and stuff. I've already missed my flight to Tokyo and my connection through Dallas, but let me just show you. So our flight got canceled not because of the snow or anything like that, but because when they de-iced it, the front windshield in the cockpit cracked. Um, as we walked past, I saw the huge crack in it. So, we're screwed. Uh, I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's, um, that's, that's, that's my situation right now. <laughs> so like I said, there's really no other way to deal with this situation except laugh about it. It's just comical at this point. And I, I don't know, every time I've tried to go home, 
something happens. So at this point, it seems like we're on flights for tomorrow. Um, I'm waiting for them to finish with all of them to talk about accommodation and compensation and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, hopefully eventually we make it back to Tokyo. <laughs> Oh, no, man. I am now at the hotel that A and A has provided to me after this is like the just the turn of events that led to this is just absolutely ridiculous so the good news is is my pcr test um i have like another 24 hours with it so as long as nothing happens with tomorrow's flights i will be back in japan um but everything that went down today was just ridiculous like absolutely ridiculous um it all kind of started like made the flight and everything we boarded sat in there and uh, i thought it was weird because we i never heard any announcements over the pa on the plane and stuff and uh it turned out that the pilots were not even on the plane and they were running late due to the snow and the bad weather so their uh shuttle i guess from their hotel to the airport for them to fly the plane for us was quite late and delayed now when they did get on the flight, the flight was already delayed by like an hour and a half. So it was already gonna be very sketchy if I was going to make it just in time for my Tokyo flight. I was probably gonna make it, I had probably like 15 minutes once we landed um, for me to then rush to the other gate to get on my Tokyo flight. So it was already a bit sketchy. Anyways, when the pilots do get there, right, they start rushing to try and get the plane lifted. Now, this is why I think the windshield cracked. It's because they put it into de-icing mode and they probably just cranked everything to 100 to try and like, you know, get everything de-iced as fast as possible. But what that means, obviously, is if you're trying to put a bunch of heat on the windshield and all that kind of stuff to de-ice it, and if you do it too quickly you're going to shock the glass and it's going to crack and i guarantee you that's exactly what happened the windshield cracked huge crack all the way down i wish i kind of pulled my camera out when i walked past it so you could have seen it um so anyways then eventually the pilot tells everyone that we have to deboard um the, the plane we get off i line up i talk to them about the flight situation and everything um we tried for like an hour maybe a little bit more looking at other flight options with um, you know going to different cities and other flights that were going into Tokyo, either Narita or Haneda. But unfortunately, there was really no option for today. I had missed everything um, and it just wasn't gonna work out trying to get there today. So they scheduled my flight again for tomorrow. So tomorrow morning I have the same flight to Dallas, from Dallas to Tokyo. Um, and this is where it got even better. They give me, uh, you know, they weren't initially gonna give me anything. Um, and I was like, this is ridiculous, guys. You gotta at least like give me a hotel. So, um, and then I said, you know, like give me something that's close so I don't have to deal with it. And the Sheridan Hotel is like attached to the airport. So they actually looked it up. They said that there was availability at the Sheridan and they got me a really nice room and everything and gave me the voucher ticket thing and just told me to, you know, go out of security, walk around the corner to the Sheridan and um, you, you can just stay there for today and you know catch up on some sleep. Because at that point, I'm wrecked. I probably had three to four hours of sleep last night. Um, and then, yeah, like everything that happened in the morning was just a disaster. So, get to the Sheridan, put all my bags down, hand them the voucher, and this guy behind the counter just goes like pale white. And he goes, hang on, I, I need to call my manager. Doesn't say anything to me calls his manager and everything. I'm waiting there for like 30 minutes for them to then just say, we don't actually have any rooms, we're sold out. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to go back to American Airlines. <laughs> just like, it, it's com like, it's just so funny at this point. Like at this point, I am exhausted, I'm wrecked, I'm frustrated, I'm annoyed. Like, y you know what I mean? Like everything and the tension and it's like, you know, still like early in the morning. It, it, it's not even nine o'clock yet, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, today was definitely a disaster. Went back to a, a spent like another hour and a half there. Um, and eventually, 
yeah, they put me in a hotel like around the corner. This one's not too bad. Um, but uh, yeah, tomorrow I got a shuttle from like 4.30 to the airport. Hopefully no problems with flights tomorrow. There's no bad snow tomorrow, so. Please let me go home. Universe, whatever's going on here. I don't know, but it's comedic. It, it, it's comical at this point. I, I don't even know what to say. Um, I don't know. I'm crushed. <laughs> This video did not turn out the way I thought it was going to. I'm sorry, guys. Show your support. Smash that like button. Write us a comment. Leave me a comment if you've had any kind of similar flying issues like this. Like, this is beyond just what the hell. Um, this is the worst flying experience I think I've ever experienced. Um, yeah, I don't know what sh what I should do. Should I email, like, A&A &A and try and get something else out of this? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Smash that like button, write a comment, and subscribe. Sorry for all the talking. I just had to share this with you guys. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's one of the many things that can go wrong if you try flying in the middle of a snowstorm. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace. Jamata. Hopefully, we'll be in Tokyo.